Welcome back. I hope you made it through last week okay. Just a quick review of last week. We talked about various accounts and transactions that affect the accounts. And we used the example in the lecture with cash. And we said if an owner, owner contributes cash, $10,000 to a business, there'd be many accounts under assets. One asset account would be cash, and there'd be others under assets. And we'd record that as a positive 10,000. The, the business has $10,000 more in cash. There'd be some liability accounts, and there'd be some owner's equity accounts. This is just like an example in the book. And one of the owner's equity accounts would be capital. Uh, usually it's the first one, capital. And the owner's equity, when the owner contributes 10,000, the value of the business has gone up $10,000. So capital increases by $10,000. And there'd be other accounts under each one of these. But that was the thrust of chapter one. Accountants can make up account titles, whatever is useful for the business. So it doesn't have to be, there's no master list that says has to be certain accounts. You use just these ones. Now chapter two is all about doing this in a more systematic way. So let's talk about that for a few minutes. One, we listen, often have five types of accounts we talk about. Uh, let's switch colors here just because we can. Asset accounts. Often they start with a one in an account structure. So cash might be one, zero. Accounts receivable might be one, one. Inventory might be one, two. Those are all assets. Liabilities start with two. Accounts payable, wages payable, notes payable, the liabilities of an organization. Owner's equity starts with three. Capital drawing uh, would be the two primary ones in owner's equity. And then revenue and expense, four and five. Revenue you can think of as things that make, uh, think of as sales. Expenses when you have expenses of the organization. And yes, organizations truly do use this type of a structure. It has more than the book usually uses just two account numbers, one zero for cash and one one for accounts receivable. But in reality, there's a lot more accounts uh, and it's a longer digit. But yes, this is truly often used. So assets, liabilities, owners, equity, revenue and expenses. Another term we used uh, last week was capital when the owner puts money in, drawing when the owner takes money out. Accounts receivable is an asset. It's a list of people who owe money to us. Accounts payable is a liability, a list of people we owe money to. So some of the terminology from last week. Now, some new terms. Debit and credit. And debit is usually abbreviated DR and means left. When you see the word debit or think I use the word debit, right now for the next couple of weeks, just think of yourself, that means left. Credit is CR and that means right. Left and right and you'll be okay. After a while you'll get a better sense of what they mean but right now the abbreviations DR and CR know those and know left and right. That's what they mean. I want to put something up on the board. Uh, I'll go back to green again. Just And I used to recommend that people get this was important enough that I wanted people to tattoo it to their arm or to their thigh. Uh, I used to say that and I said I would offer extra credit if someone got it tattooed. And then at the end of a class one time, we were getting near the end of a class, and someone contacted me and said, will I really get extra credit if I get that tattooed? No, I really don't want you to get that tattooed, but this is important enough uh, that, that think about, well, don't really think about it, but um, the five accounts, asset, liability, owner's equity, revenue and expense, and what you need to know, if an asset goes up, you debit the account. If you want to increase an asset, you debit the account. If you want to increase a liability, you credit it. 
Increase owner's equity is a credit. Increase revenue is a credit. But to increase expense is a debit. These will become second nature to you after a while. And now just the opposite. If you want to decrease an asset, instead of debiting it, you credit it. Uh, if you want to decrease a liability, you debit it. Increase owner's equity is a debit. I'm sorry, decrease owner's equity is a debit. Decrease revenue is a debit. And increase, no, decrease expense. If you want to decrease expense, that's a credit. So once you know the first one, well, then you can kind of do the first column. And once you know the first column, you can do the second column. It's just the opposite. And then one more column. Again, this doesn't mean a lot to you right now, but over the next couple weeks, you'll begin to see what this means. An asset is usually a debit. Cash, accounts receivable, inventory, those accounts are usually have a debit balance in them. Liabilities usually have a credit balance. Owner's equity accounts usually have a credit balance. Revenue accounts usually have a credit balance. And expense accounts usually have a debit balance. So you'd have to shrink that down a little bit to get it on your forearm or on your thigh. Uh, consider putting that there as a tattoo, but don't really do that. So begin to think about this, and that's the way, begin to internalize this and think about what this, well, just to use this. So let's go back to that example of when an owner contributes $10,000, we could have hundreds of accounts listed, uh, but a, a shortcut that owners, that businesses use to record that transaction. Um, instead of doing it like we did in chapter one, we're now gonna record it this way. Cash is an asset. The owner contributes $10,000 of cash to the business. Cash is an asset. Cash increased. When it, an asset increases, is that a debit or credit? When an asset increases, that's a debit. So, and what does debit mean? Debit means left. So cash is an asset. $10,000. That doesn't tell you left or right, uh, but then you'll see why that means left. The other account that's affected is capital. Capital is used when the owner puts money in. So capital, and we're going to increase owner's equity. When we increase owner's equity, that's a credit. Capital is an owner's equity account. When we increase owner's equity, we credit the account, and credit means right. This is called a journal entry. And you can tell which is the debit and which is the credit, because the debit is written to the left, the amount's written to the left, capital is written to the right, and the 10000 for capital is written to the right. Sometimes people put out here, debit, cash, credit, capital. But you don't need to know that. An account, accountant can just look at that and say, well, because that's written to the left, that's the debit. Because that one is indented and moved to the right, that's the credit. So chapter two is all about taking the transactions from chapter one and recording them in journal entry four, in, in journal entry form. One more thing. This chapter talks about an organization buying things on account. What does that phrase mean, on account? That's one of the code phrases or code words used by accountants. It means that we pay for it 30 days later. When you buy something at a store, when I buy something at a store, the store doesn't trust us to pay 30 days later. They want their money today. But if Greenville College buys some copy paper, they get to pay for it 30 days later. They'll send us an invoice, we pay for it 30 days later. So that's what it means on account. So let's just do a simple example with a journal entry. If an organization, a Greenville College or any other organization, buys supplies on account, what's the journal entry? Well, we have supplies, that's an asset, and we debit that account. Debit means left, supplies is an asset. We buy $100 worth of supplies on account, so we owe someone some money. Accounts receivable is an asset, someone owes us money. Accounts payable, we said, was when we owe money to someone else. So accounts payable. That's a liability. And when we increase an asset, we said we debit an asset, we have more supplies, 
We increase that asset, so that's a debit, and debit means left. Then we have more liability when we increase, we owe someone some money. We have more liability when we increase a liability, we said that's a credit, and credit means right. So the journal entry for that is debit supplies, credit accounts payable. All I can say is practice a lot of times. Use lots of examples and it'll become second nature. Not this week, but a few weeks. But just work through examples and begin to think about that and see if it makes sense. Good luck.